In our sixth Sunday of Easter, we have something that's so important that it transforms our lives. It's the action of the Holy Spirit. Our Lord tells the apostles that He's going to send the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, the Spirit that transforms our lives from merely human to holy, to blessed, to prepared to enter heaven. Salve Maria! In this sixth Sunday of Easter, we have something so beautiful. Our Lord Jesus Christ is preparing the apostles for His departure, but He's telling them that He's not going to leave them alone. He's going to send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who sanctifies us. He's the Spirit of truth. He's the Spirit whereby everything that we do starts to have uh, a very important end, which is sanctity. We are not able to arrive at sanctity in any other way. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no way to arrive at sanctity. We can do human acts, but we can't arrive at sanctity. And we can't arrive at the pure truth, at the perfect truth. But our Lord Jesus Christ also says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And it's the Holy Spirit that gives us the possibility to keep the com commandments. Because many times we think, well, the commandments of our Lord Jesus Christ, of God, they're commandments that are so difficult. May, did God make these commandments to just see if we're able to follow them in order to show our love for Him? No. God wanted us to follow these commandments because these commandments are perfect. These commandments make us like God. And it's the Holy Spirit that gives us strength, gives us the power to truly follow the commandments of God. No one, for example, the first commandment, love God above all, above everything. That's impossible without the help of the Holy Spirit. If we didn't have the Holy Spirit to help us, we wouldn't be able to love God above all things at any moment. What, sh what do we have to do? We have to set aside everything for the love of God. At least put it in a second or third plane. Why? Because God is all deserving of all our love. But without the Holy Spirit, that would be impossible. We wouldn't be able to love God above all things. We wouldn't be able to keep the Lord's day. We wouldn't be able to honor our father and mother. We wouldn't be able to uh, honor our superiors. We wouldn't be able to hold back this desire to insult others, to fall on top of others for any little thing that they might do or that they might not do. We wouldn't be able to keep the virtue of purity, to, the, to keep the virtue of rectitude. We wouldn't be able to keep any of the commandments without the help of the Holy Spirit. And that's what our Lord tells the apostles, that He's going to send the Holy Spirit and that He also is going to come for them. He stays with us in the Holy Eucharist, but also He comes to us through the sanctification of the Holy Spirit and to prepare us for the path to heaven. And that's what we need, especially on this sixth Sunday of Easter. Let's ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary to obtain from her divine spouse this grace of following with love the commandments, but knowing that if in any time we fail, we have a way to ask pardon. We can go to confession. We can ask the pardon of God and continue on the path to sanctity. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.